proceed, mon ami. He's a writer, producer, actor, philanthropist, and political activist. Is there anything this man can't do? Matt Damon! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for Matt Damon's top 10 performances. Is this why I had to come down here this morning, man? Is this why I had to miss my f***ing cartoons? Number 10, Private James Francis Ryan, Saving Private Ryan. Kicking off our list is Damon's role as the eponymous Private Ryan. While he doesn't appear until two-thirds into the movie, it's evident from the get-go that Damon is the perfect choice for the part. He carries an everyman quality that perfectly symbolizes each son who goes off to fight a brutal war. Damon's performance also epitomizes the courage required to battle when he makes a truly heartrending decision. Tell her that when you found me, I was here and I was with the only brothers that I have left. Number nine, Mike McDermott, Rounders. Damon knows when to hold him and when to fold him. He did hands-on research of high-stakes poker for his multifaceted role as this law student slash poker savant. And while that didn't make the film a box office success, it did make it a cult hit with poker fans. But even better than the gambling scenes was the contrast between squeaky clean Damon and his dodgy buddy, Ed Norton. Just like the saying says, you know, in the poker game of life, women are the rake. They are the f rake. The f are you talking about? What, what's saying? I don't know. Yeah. There ought to be one. Number eight, Francois Pinard, Invictus. We need to focus. Come on, we need to focus, focus! Sometimes sports are more than a game. They're about politics, race, moral fortitude. Armed with heart, rousing speeches, and the difficult to master accent, Damon embodies these as real life South African rugby captain, Francois Pinard. I'd like to propose a toast to the taste of defeat. Drink it. Remember this. And promise yourself never to taste it again. While he was originally considered too small for the role, Damon earned an Oscar nomination for his efforts and proved that while he may not have the size, he has more than enough spirit. I will break my arm, my leg, my neck, but I will not let that freaking guy go. Number seven. Le Beef, True Grit. Channeling Tommy Lee Jones with a dash of Chuck Norris, Damon is barely recognizable as the brash, intense, and totally badass Texas Ranger Le Beef. His role in this unforgettable Western remake really stretches his skills as an actor, but it's Le Beef's tenacity, honor, and sharp shooting skills that earn True Grit its spot on this list. That kind of been in front of them cheap shells on me again. I thought you were going to say the sun was in your eyes. That is to say, your eye. Bullseye. Number six, Loki, Dogma. Not only is Damon handsome and talented, he possesses something that eludes other dramatic actors, comedic timing. That timing is on display in Dogma alongside his buddy, Ben Affleck where they play a duo of fallen angels who might get back into heaven thanks to a loophole in Catholic doctrine. Hey, you know what, f you, man. Any moron with a pack of matches can set a fire. Raining down sulfur is like an endurance trial. Mass genocide is the most exhausting activity one can engage in, next to soccer. Somehow, Damon manages to make us laugh even when he's at his absolute worst. Dump. Number five, Linus Caldwell, Ocean's Eleven. Damon makes the most of his limited screen time in this star-studded remake of the 1960 Rat Pack classic. Before Oceans, our star released a couple of stinkers, so we needed some reassurance that he wasn't just going to keep making thoughtful dramas. He sheds a bit of his trademark confidence to play a fresh-faced but brilliant pickpocket who is learning to play with the big boys. You scared? You suicidal? Only in the morning. Number four, Tom Ripley, the talented Mr. Ripley. Jude Law may be charming, but Matt Damon is the piece that completes this intensely dark puzzle. As the obsessive and creepy title character, Damon is more than just a handsome leading man. In fact, it's a testament to his magnetism that we identify with Ripley at all, considering his crimes. By effectively playing both the nondescript Mr. Ripley and the flamboyant characters he becomes, Damon earned a Golden Globe nod. You're shivering, Marge. Look at you, Marge. Can I hold you? Will you let me hold you? Marge? What's going on? 
me out of here, get me out of here. Number three. What was his name, The Departed? Colin Sullivan, The Departed. Unlike Tom Ripley, we love to hate Colin Sullivan. Damon's performance as a double agent for the Irish mob in this ensemble crime thriller is captivating. He's playing a guy whose entire life is a performance, save for a few clandestine moments. Look, if we're not gonna make it, it's gotta be you that gets out, because I'm not capable. I'm f***ing Irish, I'll deal with something being wrong for the rest of my life. With so many A-listers vying for our interest, it takes a truly spectacular performance to stand out. Plus, everyone knows it's more fun playing the villain. Just f kill me. Just f kill me. I am killing you. Number two, Jason Bourne, The Bourne Identity. On top of his signature intensity and sincerity, Damon proves he's a bona fide action hero by doing his own stunts as this amnesiac black ops agent. He's buff, he fights, he shoots with deadly accuracy, he saves the girl, and most importantly, he can shoot someone from mid-air and just walk away. Now that's impressive. Number one, Will Hunting, Good Will Hunting. Do you like apples? Yeah. Well, I got a number. How do you like them apples? <laughs> Taking the top spot on our list is the movie that launched Damon's and Affleck's mainstream careers and won both an Oscar for Best Original Screenplay. Aside from the astute writing and excellent dialogue, this movie is all about the acting and the relationships between the characters, especially Damon's chemistry with Robin Williams. In fact, in some of his best scenes, Damon doesn't need to say much at all. Look at me. What do you want to do? <laughs> you and your bullshit. You got a bullshit answer for everybody but I ask you a very simple question and you can't give me a straight answer because you don't know. Do you agree with our list? Outstanding work! Which Matt Damon performance was your favorite? For more entertaining top tens, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. Got the chief. Time's up.